30 years ago, Hulk Hogan endorsed a meatball maker instead of an innovative grill. That proved to be a $200 million mistake. Hulk Hogan, renowned in the wrestling world, once missed a golden opportunity in product endorsements. 30 years ago, instead of choosing a revolutionary grill, he opted for a meatball maker, a decision that cost him dearly. Hulk Hogan's agent presented him with two options, an innovative folding grill and a meatball maker. Intrigued, Hogan ultimately chose the meatball maker, a choice that would haunt him financially. The 1980s saw Hulk Hogan's meteoric rise in wrestling, captivating audiences with his charismatic persona and signature moves. Catchphrases like, Whatcha gonna do, brother, became part of pop culture. Hogan's popularity peaked in the mid-1980s, especially after defeating the Iron Sheik for the WWF World Heavyweight Championship in 1984 and facing Andre the Giant at WrestleMania III in 1987. Despite his wrestling success, Hogan ventured into business with mixed results. His restaurant Pastamania failed, and around this time, he was offered a chance to endorse a kitchen product by his agent. Presented with a grill, a meatball maker, and a blender, Hogan humorously chose the meatball maker, dismissing the grill. The grill opportunity went to another of his agent's clients, George Foreman. George Foreman, amid a career comeback, was perfect for the grilling product. Known for his healthy eating habits and boxing prowess, Foreman's name and face became associated with the fat-reducing grill. The grill, branded the George Foreman Lean Mean Fat-Reducing Grilling Machine, saw slow initial sales but exploded in popularity by 1998, generating $200 million in annual revenue. Foreman initially earned 60% of the profits, making up to $8 million a month. Eventually, he was paid $137.8 million in a lump sum, totaling over $200 million from the grill alone. In contrast, the Hulk Hogan meatball maker never materialized. Hogan's subsequent product endorsements, including Hulkster Burgers and Hogan Energy, met with limited success and quickly faded. Hogan even collaborated on a blender and an ultimate grill, but none matched the Foreman Grill's success. Financial missteps and personal troubles nearly led Hogan to bankruptcy by 2009. While Hogan rebounded with a $31 million legal settlement, his net worth sits at $25 million, significantly less than Foreman's $300 million. The grill decision remains a costly what-if in Hogan's career.